Hi, here we are at East Hampton Porch Fest. The end of September on a beautiful day. So we have Pasqualina Asarello here. And first I want to ask you why you love East Hampton. There are many, many reasons why I love East Hampton. Um, and I get a really unique viewpoint based on my role in the city of East Hampton. And something I really appreciate, and today's event is a perfect example of it, is just how integrated arts and culture is with the very fabric of the city itself. And so, yeah, it's a very special day. Tell us a little bit about the event itself. So this is our first ever East Hampton Porch Fest. Porch Fest is um, an event that's been taking place in various locations throughout Massachusetts, throughout the country for a number of years. And I had been thinking years ago how nice it would be to have a porch fest here in East Hampton. And at East Hampton City Arts, we have a lot of events, we have a lot that we're doing. And it was about a year and a half ago, two community members who had moved here from the eastern part of the state um, within the last couple of years and moved to the New City neighborhood approached me wondering if it would be possible to do an East Hampton Porch Fest. And they're just like super great community members and had a lot of energy and wanted to collaborate. And so we got to talking, their names are Steve Colicelli and Felicia Jadduck, and they joined the ECA Coordinating Committee and we have been crafting this together um, ever since. And so what we have today are 12 different bands across six different porches um, or decks or yards. Um, but the idea is to bring music and performance and energy into spaces that are not always activated in a more public way. And so it's a beautiful day, the rain all let up for us. And yeah, there's been, you know, maybe between 30 and 40 people at each of the porches so far. And they're happening, uh, some of them are happening simultaneously. And so it's a really nice glimpse of people moving through public spaces and through a neighborhood, getting to know our neighbors. Tracy Eller here from the East Hampton City Arts, our chair. Yeah, yes. Thank you, thank you. And thanks for everybody coming out for Porch Fest. This is super exciting. It's our first inaugural Porch Fest. Um, ECA is um, sponsoring this, and it's one of the many things that ECA does for East Hampton. Um, one of the reasons why I love East Hampton so much is because the arts are an integral, integral part of the community. And I think everybody uh, that I know loves to come out, support these things. We have Art Walk, we have Cultural Chaos, now we have the Porch Fest. Um, that's, and that's just a small thing that happens in East Hampton. I mean, you have the mills, you have all the breweries, you have Cottage Street, you have all the artist studios. One of my favorite things to do is to like go to an open studio or go to the Maker's Market or Farmer's Market. Yeah. Right, yeah. Mill Pond Live Mill Pond also. Live, yeah, Mill Pond Live. Um, one more question. Anything that you've got coming up under your sleeve with East Hampton City <laughs> Arts that you might want to tell us about? Well, I, we've got, um, in the spring, we will be unveiling a public sculpture which is very exciting on, on the boardwalk of Cottage Street. In October, we've got two artists that will be um, exhibiting in the ECA gallery. Hi, 
Hey, here we are at East Hampton Porch Fest, and I've got Connie Denham, one of our city councilors. Yep. So I have a question for you. Mm -hmm. Tell us why you love East Hampton. Uh, you know, I fell in love with East Hampton uh, before I moved here. Actually, I uh, love the economic diversity of East Hampton. Uh, as someone who grew up in poverty, it was just a really wonderful place to be able to see just the diversity of, of kind of uh, people's jobs, uh, people's experiences, uh, businesses, etc. And so for everyone to be able to congregate and, and move about the city and enjoy the amenities of the city and the businesses and the people, uh, the park, etc. I think it was just a, it was something that I just wanted to be a part of. So that's why I love East Hampton. some questions for you. Sure. I'd love to hear, um, why do you love East Hampton? There's, a, well, there's always things to do as evidenced by this today. Uh, arts and good food and uh, a lot of community stuff, which is nice. And uh, right on the edge of the Berkshires, which is nice. So yeah, there's never a lack of things to do up here. Here's a question. Obviously every town can improve. What, what would you be willing to do to help East Hampton get even better? Uh, well, I like to think I'm doing it today. I volunteer at a lot of local oh. events, whether it's bicycling events or music events or things like this being Porch Fest or um, like at Cultural Chaos, I helped out in June. Um, but I'm always on the lookout for ways yeah. to, to help out like that. That's great. Yeah. Good for you. Thank you. Thank you.